Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and I'm here today on the third Thursday in October to create a Christmas card using this month's featured stamp set with Angel Stamps. It is Gather Together. I wasn't sure if I could really turn a fall card, fall stamp set into a Christmas card, but we're going to try something, and so let's just see what happens. Pointing you down at my table. It's pretty dark over there. Let me adjust my lights and... Refresh my page to make sure that I can you can see what I'm doing. Okay, what I have is a thick whisper white cardstock, cut hot dog style, which is four and a quarter by eleven. And then I'm going to fold that in half. And we have a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna set that aside for right now. I we also have a piece of Tis the Season Designer Series paper. I have it cut four by three. We're going to pull out the stamp and cut and emboss here in a minute. And I have a piece of cherry cobbler paper ready for that as well with the adhesive sheet already on the back. So let me get all that out. Someday, I will show you exactly how I keep all my stuff in one spot. Let me scoot my computer back so I can scoot this over. And hopefully, you will be seeing as I do this. We are building the sandwich with the base and then the thin thigh and then the magnetic plate. I'm going to put my designer series paper there and pull out the layering of the circles framelit. We're gonna, that's too big. We're gonna make a wreath, kind of. We're kind of making a wreath. We're really just cutting a circle in the designer series paper is what we're doing. I'm going to send that through and then I will um, work on the words. So we put the top cutting plate and send this through. The designer series paper with the hole cut out, which is what we'll be using today, as well as a circle to use in a different project.
not world map dies that I need, but word wishes. Okay. And then we will put the cherry cobbler cardstock through. And I will be cutting out the words Merry Christmas. I have to find them. This is interesting to try to read the things upside down and backwards and see if you get the right word. There's Happy Halloween, Thanksgiving, here it is, Mary. All right. My plan is for my product based class in um, January to be using these dies and the stamp set that goes with them to create a bunch of cards for holidays year round. decided to come out with the backing left behind. So that'll be interesting. Not to put it on top of the sticky Christmas work over there. And then we're going to start doing some stamping. We will be using the pumpkin out of the Gather Together set and some words out of the Dove of Hope stamp set as well. And I want to make sure I use of the um, thin whisper white paper going to grab a pumpkin. We will see how this works, but I want to stamp the pumpkin in black on white cardstock. I've even seen some white pumpkins out there during this pumpkin season but um i know you can buy them fake pumpkins you can buy real pumpkins and paint them white And we're going to use the 
um, gathering leaves dies to cut out these pumpkins in a minute. Now, we're going to try something, and I'm not certain it's going to work the way I want it to. So we're going to do an experiment. In back. And grab my Peace, Love, and Joy stamp out of the Dove of Hope stamp set. And here is what I'm going to do. I'm creating a palette with my Cherry Cobbler ink. If you have a Cherry Cobbler marker, using the marker would be probably the easier way to do this. But I don't have a marker, so we're going to try this out. It didn't leave a lot of ink, but I'm going to grab some with my blender pen and then just color piece. This is my I stamp on my actual, yeah, it's not very dark that way, but we're just going to grab some from the ink pad and try to make it a bit darker. My palette didn't make itself very well. All right, and then I'm just going to stamp peace on the pumpkin. And then do the same with love and joy. We have three pumpkins that say peace, love, and joy. And I'm going to try to wipe off my plunger pen. Close up my cherry cobbler. Put my words back. And then it's time to pull these Stamparatus back up 
and this time we'll be using the Gathered Leaves stamp set. Or the Gathered Leaves dies. We're building our sandwich. The base plate with the thin dies and the magnetic plate. And then I'm putting my pumpkins on there. And I only have one die for the bigger pumpkins. So we're going to have to do this three times. And and finally peace. I will put all of this away for right now. Oh, that did not cut what well, oh, it did. It just wouldn't come out. I move all my pieces. And then we're going to finish our stamping the inside and put the card together. Not sure why my computer stopped letting me look at what's happening, but it did. Yeah, my battery's fine, everything's fine. It says the live video is interrupted, but then it's back, so I don't know. Okay. We will just be stamping the sentiment on the inside of the card using the cherry collar. And I always look to make sure I'm stamping the because I have often stamped upside down. May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And now we put together the front. 
first thing I'm going to do is add glue to our Tis the Season Designer Series paper. Lay it right there on the front, and then we're going to figure out how to put the words. We have Merry Christmas. I think I may finish getting Christmas out of the die. a couple of little pieces that didn't come out that I like to just stick my finger there and it will pull them out. Okay. And there we have Christmas. And I'm looking to see if the up the top of the eye is still on the paper. So I'll get it in a minute. And there it is. Merry Christmas. Let me see if I can get this little. I'm actually going to use my take your pick tool and see if it will grab that dot. And then put it on the top. It doesn't want to leave it there. It'll put it there, but it doesn't want to leave it there. Now, can I get the sticky stuff off without getting the little dot off? Nope. It's stuck in there really good. So let's see what I can do. I'm trying to find it even. It got really wrapped up in there. And we'll put on a rhinestone for that dot on that eye. And then we will get the pumpkins on. Okay. 
This may look similar to the Happy Halloween card that was on my blog yesterday. And that's because it would be the same design. But today we're making the Christmas version of it instead of the Halloween version. And I don't know, I have blue coming, but it's not here yet. Oh, there's peace. And joy. And I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of love. And then I will get the rhinestones out. All right, here is a Christmas card that still needs rhinestones. I lost myself for a second. We're going to gather the holiday rhinestones. If I can find them. All right. I have regular rhinestones, the retired peacock right there they are. Okay. Get my take your pick tool again. And we're going to put a little red rhinestone on the top of the eye. And then we're just going to add some more rhinestones just because they're pretty. And we want to add some bling to our Um, Christmas pumpkin card. One more red. Okay. Put my lid back on. My take your pick tool. And here we have our Christmas card with the gathering, gathered together stamp set and the gathering leaves dies and the word wishes dies. So it says Merry Christmas 
And you open it up and it says, May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And our pumpkins say peace, love, and joy. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas card. And I will be back next Thursday at 2 p.m. Central. And we'll see what excitement we can make that day. See you then.